The nice thing about the ASI Air Pro and the ASI Air Plus is that you can connect it to your home Wi-Fi. The benefit of this means that you can pretty much be anywhere inside your house doing other things while still keeping control of your gear outside. In this video, I'm going to go over how to set it up to attach to your home Wi-Fi. And if you've got a bigger yard and your Wi-Fi doesn't quite reach your mount, I'll show you how to set up a repeater as well, just to give you a little bit of extra range. So the first thing you need to do is connect directly to the ASI Air. Now I've went ahead and reset my ASI Air, so we're starting from scratch here. So you can use this as a guide for getting connected to it just in general. So we're gonna dive into the app. I have my tablet sitting right here and the ASI Air is sitting right beside it. And in the tablet, all we wanna do is tap on the ASI Air network. And it might take a minute. Okay, I'm surprised here that it didn't ask me for the password, but that's okay. We can go ahead and open up the app and it should go straight into the ASI Air. Oh, how nice, I got hit with an update. I'm gonna skip it ahead. While we wait for this update, I do wanna say one thing though. 3,000 subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, now we are in the app and I'm not too concerned with setting everything else up. Nothing is even plugged into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter. And what I really wanna do is just get it on my Wi-Fi and then get it attached to the repeater I have sitting here and just make sure it's all working together. That way, the next time it's clear, I can just take it out, turn it all on, and it should be good to go. Back in the app here, if you wanna to go to your home Wi-Fi, you tap on the Wi-Fi symbol up top here, and then go to Wi-Fi settings. Now, when it comes to using station mode, you have to use the 2.4G. And keep that in mind when you're setting up your repeater as well, you don't wanna use the 5G network. But, uh, if you wanna change the name of the ASI or and the password, you can. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm leaving it at default and I'll change it later. All you have to do is click on station mode. And once you turn that on, it'll disconnect and reconnect, but it's going to pull up the list of Wi-Fi uh, signals nearby. Now, what you can do is go back to your Wi-Fi settings and then directly connect back to the ASI Air real quick because you want to go in and make sure that it's connecting to the right network. Okay, and now that we're in here, we can check and see that station mode is on and even though I did reset it, it did connect to my home Wi-Fi network, which is not the 5G, but that's fine. We can leave it just as it is. So now it is on my home Wi-Fi. Another thing you can do is if you're like me and kind of like to control things from the computer as well, even though you're inside, you can use an app called Bluestacks. Let's jump on the computer real quick. Okay, so on my computer, I have this app called Bluestacks. And what it is, is it's basically just an emulator for Android. And you're gonna have to log in with your Google Play account to download the ASI Air app, but that's fine. But if you open it up, it might take a few minutes and you might need to update the app as well. But while that's loading on your tablet or cell phone, whatever you normally use to control the ASI Air, go back into your Wi-Fi settings and then in station mode, right next to your Wi-Fi's name, there's a little green eye. Tap on that. Okay, and then just take note of the IP address that's there. You're gonna need that. And I did get hit with an up update for the, the uh, Bluestacks version, so, so I'm gonna update it and skip ahead real quick. All right, and now that the update is done, we can see that it's actually connected to the ASI Air. So when you have it connected in station mode, you can use a computer to control it, which is nice. Now that that's all said and done, when you have it all set up this way, you can use it as is. You don't need to use the repeater. Just leave it in station mode and just connect to your home's Wi-Fi. You should see it. If not, reconnect directly back to the ASI Air, find that IP address, and then switch back to your Wi-Fi. And then you'll get a little pop-up that looks kind of like this. You just hit scan if nothing shows up. You hit uh, device IP and just type it in. So 192. 168 or however you have your home network set up and from there we're going to go ahead and get the repeater set up so to set up the repeater we're going back to the wi-fi settings and i already have it turned on and what we want to do is this tp link 0e whatever numbers you might have with yours just tap on that and if you get a pop-up that looks like this just say keep wi-fi connection that way it doesn't constantly disconnect you okay so from here we're going to open up a browser and go to tp link 
wifi.net. And now it is trying to log into the website for the repeater that's sitting here. Okay, and for the ad the uh, username and password for both, it is both admin, all lowercase. Super secure, I know, but it is what it is. And you can just go ahead and log in there. All right, and you'll see these little pop-ups. You can ignore those. But the next thing you can do is it might bring in the quick setup. This is what we want. So go ahead and tap next. Now what we're gonna do is set this up as a range extender. And the way we're gonna do this is instead of just replicating the signal from your home Wi-Fi to the ASI Air, we're actually gonna plug the repeater into the ASI Air. And the reasoning for that is to make sure that the ASI Air does get your home connection. So back into here, we're just gonna tap on range extender and then just hit next. And it's gonna pull up a list of different Wi-Fi signals that, are, uh, that it sees. We see the ASI Air, we see my neighbor's stuff, we see my stuff, so um, I will go ahead and click mine. However, if you're not setting this up in station mode on Wi-Fi, what you can do instead is if you're just using the ASI Air, say you're using this in a field and just wanna get a little bit more range, you can connect directly to the ASI Air's Wi-Fi with this and just set it off to the side. It'll replicate the signal for you. But since we're using home Wi-Fi for this, we're gonna go ahead and connect to my home Wi-Fi. And I will go ahead and put my password in, so I'm just gonna cut it here and scoot it ahead. Okay, and from here, we can see the other two options here are copy from root AP or customize. So what we wanna do is copy from root AP, and what that will do is just use the same Wi-Fi name. And this will help out uh, in the long run because if you're walking inside and outside, it'll allow your tablet to bounce between the router that's inside the house and then the repeater which is sitting out with the ASI Air. And we'll just go ahead and click next. This next page, the quick setup network setting, you can just leave this alone. Just hit next. And then from there, uh, I'll be blurring a few things on here, but you can just go ahead and hit finish. And then the system will reboot. Once it gets done rebooting, then you should be connected to your home Wi-Fi and still be able to see the ASI Air. While we wait for this to restart, one nifty thing about this little TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi repeater is that you don't have to power it off of an AC adapter. You can use something like an anchor battery or if you have one of the big Jackery batteries or something like that, you don't have to power it off of the same power source that you're powering your mount off of. Even something like this, uh, if you don't have one, my recommendation is down below, but a 10,000 milliamp hour battery is plenty just for this little repeater. This one is a 20,000 because I use it for other things, but still it powers this router just fine. Okay, now that that's done restarting, we can see here that it's trying to connect to the router, but we've changed the Wi-Fi name of the router. So we can just go back to settings and then just connect directly to the same network that the ASI Air is now on which means you should be connected to this little repeater because it's the closest thing. The other thing I wanna do to make sure that this connects properly is I'm going to plug in an ethernet cord between the two. And now you can see the little link lights indicating that something's going on. And look, it finds it right away. I recommend when you're doing a setup like this with the repeater that you do plug it in. Um, you don't have to use a really short cable and you know find ways to stack them together. You don't have to do that. Really what you can do is use a really long ethernet cable and just get this close to your house, you know, on a table outside the door and then just have a long ethernet cable running out to your mount. That'll keep it to where you can take your tablet inside well out of your normal Wi-Fi range and still be connected to it. In my next ASI Air related video, I'm gonna be doing a range test with the ASI Air Plus with the default antenna and then with a bigger antenna that I have, it's about this big and then with this Wi-Fi repeater, and I wanna see which one gives the best range. And I'll use the ASA or Pro as well with just the repeater and itself because 
there's no other antenna, and we'll see what the difference is. But that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please do like, comment, and then maybe consider subscribing. I want to thank you for watching. Clear skies.